Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is forecasting techniques, time series with seasonality, and how to do it using regression. Regression is not the only model, but it's the model that we will work today. And when time series exceeds seasonality, different techniques provide better forecasts than the stationary time series analysis. Uh, for instance, moving average or exponential smoothing uh, simple and double, that is stationary plus trend. Multiple regression models with categorical variables for the seasonal components, that's what we are working, or models like Holt Winters, uh, that also works with seasonality. So, how do we do that? So, how do we create with these categorical or dummy variables for the seasonal components. So first, depend on how do you have your data. That it's not very good with daily data unless you are looking for seasonality uh, during uh, the season. For instance, for a grocery store, make that make sense. But usually we have annual data divided by month or quarter. So if it is divided by month, you use a categorical variables with k equal 12 levels, 12 months. And then we construct the re regression model using k minus 1, 11 dummy variables, with January being the reference month. So, okay, dumb, January only zeros, and then from February to December, uh, the 11 dummy variables. Or categorical variable with k equal 4 levels, 1 for each quarter, and then construct the regression model using k minus 1 dummy variables, with first quarter being the reference quarter. So let's go to our Excel file. Remember, all our Excel files are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. So okay, we have here a total revenue of an actual company, by the way, and then we have these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years of uh, data. And the first, we need to check if there is apparently a seasonality or not. So here, total revenue. Let's create a, a chart. Whoa. Here we have apparently some trends. The sales are going up, but also a seasonality. So here, to deal with the trend, we go with a variable called time. And then time one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So we copy and paste this formula. Let's only paste the formula. And it looks like we have seasonality. The quarter number four, eight, 12, 16. So it looks like we have seasonality on the fourth quarter. So how do we do? Create three variables, because we want to check the other two as well. So K, and then the answer is always yes or no. So yes, one, no, zero. Why no zero? Because zero times anything plus it's equal to zero. So generally, so first quarter, is, is it quarter two? No. Is it quarter three? No. Is it quarter four? No. Quarter two. Is it quarter two? Yes. So one. So no quarter three, no quarter four. Quarter three, it's not a quarter two. It is quarter three. It is not quarter four. Quarter four, it's not quarter two. It's not quarter three. It is quarter four. And then we copy and paste these guys here because we have all of our quarters. So here is what do we have. And now we can perform our regression. So data, data analysis, regression. Let me delete it. So OK, the Y range is our total revenue, is our dependent variable. X range is the independent variable, so time plus the seasonality. And label, so let's call it regression. And then 
Okay, and let's rename here by data. So regression, what do we have here? Well, very good model. R square and adjusted R square 0.97 rounding. So very, very good. And then let's go on time. That is the trend. P value, very low. So below 0 0.05, that is the number that we usually work. Uh, quarter two and quarter three, not relevant. And okay, that is expected. Here we have only trains, so no peaks here. However, quarter four, as expected, a seasonality. So here a, a time. So we expect that our revenue increase in $2,700 per quarter. However, on the fourth quarter, it will increase in approximately $12,000 or millions or billions, depending on the scale of this variable. So it's, by the way, it's on millions. So it is $2 billion and $11 billion. Very, very large company here. So Yes, so we can use this as the trend for time, uh, as the trend and the quarter for our seasonality. And then you can add more variables if you want a more accurate model and so on. So yes, we have here a seasonality or seasonal data, and that is how we deal with seasonality on using regression analysis. Interesting, huh? So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have questions or comments, just leave them here or email me. Have a very nice day and God bless you.